welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and I'm the owner of Poised and Prepped and I sell pre-lift clothing for men, women, and children. And today I am back out at my local Goodwill store to do some sourcing. I am still doing Frugal September, which is where I have given myself a budget of $500 to do all of my sourcing for this month. So I don't have too much to spend in here today but I definitely wanted to stop by, check in, see if they have any new inventory. So let's go in here and see what I can find. It's the same old story being told inside my head. I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man. I gotta tear this world All right, so I just got out of Goodwill and it was such a good haul. I actually think I may have found my favorite item I've ever thrifted. So I'm gonna get all this home and then I'm gonna show you all everything I found today. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the bell so that you receive a notification every time I upload a brand new video. Standing underneath the lights all right, so I am back home and I have all of my items ready to show you guys everything I picked up. This first item is a polo men's shirt and it's really comfy, really nice material. This one's by the brand Marine Layer and this one's a size medium. Marine Layer actually does pretty well on the secondhand market. Um, so I wish I found it more often, but these usually comp for around 30 to 35 dollars um obviously if they're new with tags they're going to sell a lot quicker but if i see this brand and it's in good condition and the price is right this is a brand that i do like to pick up this next item is a pair of j crew mini dress pants these are a size eight and they are new with tags which is great 
and I love this like olive green color. J. Crew dress pants are a bread and butter in my store. If I find them in good condition, new with tags, a good size, I almost always pick them up. These usually sell for me anywhere between like $30 to $50 range. So I really love picking these up when I find them. I also picked up these Anthropology Pilk Row and the Letterpress jeans. These are a size 29 and I love these. These are a dark wash. They are like a little bit of like a flare leg to them, which is really on trend right now. So I definitely wanted to grab them. I paid $7.99 for these and comps on these actually looked really, really good. I mean, I'll probably list these somewhere around like 40 to $45. So I definitely wanted to pick those up. All right, so this next item is my favorite find of the day. Literally, when I saw it hanging there, I literally gasped. I was like, oh my gosh. This is a J. Crew collection, size small, new with tags, gold sequined skirt. And it's actually made out of like this like sweater material. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it shows up as good on camera, but this skirt is incredible. I cannot believe that it is new with tags and everything. The tag says $200. I actually did try to look this up and I could not find this exact skirt. So I don't really know what comps are on it yet. I know that some of these J. Crew collection sequence skirts, especially if they are a rare skirt, they can go upwards to like three and four hundred dollars. So I'm really hoping that that is what this one is going to do. I love this skirt. So excited to find this. It's incredible. What a find. So happy to find that. So this next item is a pair of Madewell shorts. These are a size 25. These are like a high-waisted cut-off denim short. And I usually don't pick up shorts all that often, but I am slowly starting to try and get some more shorts back into my inventory. So when I found these for $2.99, I definitely wanted to pick them up. Comps on these Madewell shorts, they're, they're somewhere around like, I would say $25 to $35. But Madewell's a great brand, and so I definitely wanted to go ahead and pick those up. So this next piece is a pajama set. Super cute. This is actually a collaboration with Draper James and Land's End. These are a size small, and they are these green checkered gingham two-piece pajamas. Here's the pants, and then the top has obviously like the larger gingham print. These are so adorable. Comps on these are around $35 to $40. These are super cute, especially they're long sleeved as we go into fall and winter. I think these are gonna perform really well. I ended up paying like $3.99 for this entire set, which is such a score for Draper James. So very excited to find those. This next piece is by Madewell. It's a size medium. And it's this pink and white striped midi skirt. It is so adorable. I absolutely love this skirt. I paid $3.99 for this, which such a good deal. And comps on this looked between $35 to $45. This one is in excellent condition. Size medium is a great size. So definitely happy to find that. And then I found the exact same skirt in blue and white this is also made well size medium blue and white midi skirt it's exact same as the last one so again i paid 3.99 for this one comps looked great 35 to 45 so definitely happy to find both of those this next piece is a coat by talbots this is a size 14 petite and this is like a maroon wool pea coat. It's like a longer length. It is absolutely beautiful in person. So high quality. This one's 80% wool. This is a really nice 
long, it comes down to like mid calf, like winter coat. So when I saw this, I definitely wanted to pick it up. I did pay $9.99 for this, but comps on these Talbot, like longer wool coats were amazing. Like upwards between like $75 to $90 for a lot of them. So I definitely wanted to pick it up. It is in excellent condition. It doesn't even look like it's been worn. So I was very happy to find that. I also found this BB Dakota size small dress. This one is a maxi lace floral embroidered dress. It is an off the shoulder style. It is so pretty. So usually with BB Dakota, I come across this brand actually pretty often, but it's in a lot of like mini style dresses and I have stopped multiple times and run comps and the profit margins are usually just never really there. Um, but when I came across this one and it was like a full maxi dress, I decided to run comps on it and I'm really glad that I did because it looks like this one was actually sold at Revolve and comps on this one were great. The most recent comp for this one was $50. So I definitely wanted to pick it up. I paid $6.49 for it and even though it's white, I, I did like fully look over it and try to make sure that there was no stains or flaws and it looked to be in really excellent condition. So I'm really hopeful that I can probably get about $50 for it. So really excited to find that piece. So I also ended up finding a few cardigan sweaters during this trip and this one's by the brand White and Warren. This one is a size small. It's just a pretty basic navy cardigan. It is a little bit like a longer length. And this is a great brand to resell. I love finding this brand. Comps on this are around 30 to $40, really just depending on size, condition, factors like that. Now, if you can find this brand in like wool or cashmere or something like that, these cardigans can go for like 60 to $70. So it's definitely a brand that you want to catalog and look for while you're outsourcing. So I found this one. And then I also found basically the same exact one in this other like coral color, white and Warren size small. So I paid $4.99 for both of these and I will probably list these maybe close to 40 in hopes that I will be able to sell them for around $30 a piece. I also picked up this J. Crew size small, new with tags, striped top. This one actually feels really like nice and thick, which I really like. It feels like a really good quality striped top. So again, being a good brand, being new with tags, I really liked it. Stripes are really in style right now for fall, so I did go ahead and pick this one up. All right, this is another wool coat. This one is by Cynthia Rally. It's a size 1X, so great size. It's this hot pink, longer style coat. Again, 100% wool. So I did run comps on this and comps looked great, especially in this 1X size. Comps were like $65 to $75. So I did pay $9.99 for this since it is a longer coat. But still, with those you know possible profit margins, I definitely still wanted to pick it up even at $9.99. And it's a really cool piece. I just really like the hot pink. I think it's really fun. So I think that will do pretty well. So this next piece is another cardigan sweater. This one is Ann Taylor Factory. This one is a size small, but it is like a longer style and I love the stripes. And I just thought this was a really pretty piece for fall and winter. So I did decide to go ahead and pick this up. I paid $4.99 for this and I will probably list this somewhere around $35. I also picked up these Theory Size Zero Green Trouser Pants. These are so nice. I love picking up these um, career wear pants. Again, they do really well for me. And comps on these Theory Dress Pants 
were ranging around $35 to $45. So I did pay $5 for these, but I still decided to pick them up because I still think that that's pretty good profit margins for me. So definitely happy to find those. So I ended up finding two pairs of shoes on this trip. These are a pair of Franco Sarto Black Loafers. These are a size eight and a half, and these are in like excellent condition. Like no signs of wear, perfect, I love them. Again, loafers are very on trend right now, and Franco Sarto is actually a really great brand to sell on the secondhand market. So if I find Franco Sarto and it's in good condition and it's a style that is you know on trend, I definitely like to run comps on it. And these looked great. I'll probably list these somewhere around $40. So really happy to find those. So the next pair of shoes I found were these Tory Burch Black Ballet Flats. I was so excited when I saw these. So they do have some wear on the bottoms, but the upper looks amazing. Great condition. I'll try to show you all the logo. There it is, Tory Burch. And these I paid $5.99 for. What a deal. And these are a size eight and a half. So I did run comps on these. And comps actually sort of surprised me a little bit. I think I was expecting to find that these were selling for a lot more than what I found. They're still selling for pretty good. Somewhere around like $50 to $60 maybe. So I don't know, I'll probably list them around, like I said, 50 to $60 and then just see what happens. But it's always a good day when you find Tory Burch. So I ended up finding 17 items today and my total cost of goods was $98. So I'm very happy with this haul. I found Tory Burch. I found the J. Crew Collection sequin skirt. So I'm right around $100 left for Frugal September, and I do have a Goodwill Bins trip planned. So I'm learning so much this month. I'm really enjoying this process of being more mindful and making sure that I select really great inventory. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see all of you again soon. Bye, everybody. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes